Hank Gore Jr., who gained more than 4,000 yards at Southern Mississippi, he was the star of the East-West Shrine Bowl. We're talking about 87 yards rushing on six attempts, six carries, and one touchdown. Now, we all know his father, Frank Gore Sr., who was on his way to the Hall of Fame. Now, Frank Gore Jr. is not the athlete that his father is. He also is not as big as his father is. He's 5'7", 199 pounds, but he runs low to the ground. And he's stronger than most people think. He's not, he's not easy to tackle. He gains quite a bit of yards after the initial contact. Now, Frank Gore Jr. had a 49-yard run, and he showed great speed and quickness on the run. And he's durable. He's a durable running back, even at 5'7", 199. He don't miss a lot of time. NFL scouts are saying he'll probably be a third-day draft pick or undrafted rookie free agent. But he got NFL genetics. His dad is a uh, all-time great, so it's in his DNA. So he's gonna get a shot at the NFL. And that's all you're gonna ask for. Now, before I knew this man's government, I knew him as Apollo Creed from the Rocky movies. Then later on, I learned his name was Carl Weathers, and he didn't just play in those Rocky movies. He played in Predator. Action Jackson, Happy Gilmore, The Four Deuces, Bucktown, played in a lot of movies. Now, we all know he had a life before he became an actor. He played in the NFL for the Oakland Raiders. He also played in the Canadian Football League for the BC Lions. Just saw Apollo Creed, Carl Weathers, and a commercial with Gronk. He looked healthy, he looked strong, but you know, when is your time to go? It's your time to go. Carl Weathers was 76 years old. So rest in peace to Carl Weathers. And I was listening to Jim Harbaugh and he says something about J.J. McCarthy being the first quarterback taken in an NFL draft. I don't know what Jim Harbaugh is on. There is no way J.J. McCarthy is going to be the first quarterback taken. He's not better than Caleb Williams. He's not better than Jaden Daniels. He's not better than Michael Penix Jr. He's not better than Bo Nix. Now, Harbaugh's talking about the way he can throw the ball, his athleticism, his winning reputation, his intelligence. Harbaugh's like, look, he got it. I'm predicting, I'm predicting he's gonna be the first player taken in the draft. Nah, that's not gonna happen. I like the fact that he's hyping up his former quarterback, but he's not gonna be the first player or quarterback taken in the draft. Now the Chargers, they draft with number five. And I bet you Jim Harbaugh doesn't take J.J. McCarthy. I mean, he's not better than Justin Herbert. He's not going to sit four years behind Justin Herbert. But Jim Harbaugh knows J.J. McCarthy better than anyone besides his parents and maybe his boys. But he's not going to be the first quarterback taken in the 2024 draft. I don't care. I know they got combines and things of that nature, and he might be able to improve his stock. But Caleb Williams is going to be the number one player or the number one quarterback taken up off the board. Now, there's a lot of LeBron James talk. Stephen A. Smith was talking about LeBron James should request a trade to the Knicks. Don't think LeBron James wants to play with the Knicks. But what I do know is LeBron James is going to opt out after the season, become a free agent, and whoever signs Bronny James or drafts them, they know good and well they're going to get LeBron James. LeBron James is going to play for them. But I don't think LeBron wants to go to New York at all. LeBron, 40 years old. 
He might be tired of going to different teams. He might want to retire as a Laker. And right now, Bronny James is not on no draft boards as far as being drafted. So that's even better for LeBron. That means Bronny will sign a two-way contract. We'll play some in the NBA and play some in the G League, and LeBron can watch over him. He'll do that for a year or two, and then LeBron will retire. Joker got to be tired of running up and down that court. 21 seasons in the NBA? So he might got two years left. But one way or the other, LeBron James is going to play with his son in the NBA.